Hey, Jose, what are you doing? You know, just trying to get a date for the weekend. Not to burst your bubble, dude. I think you're gonna be staying home this weekend. What are you talking about, dude? This works. So in efforts that you don't stay home this weekend, I decided to do this video and show you a couple of tips and tricks on how to flirt with the girl on social media. I mean, this is a new age. Honestly, if you want, you could pick up girls strictly from your phone nowadays. It's not like your dad and mom used to do so. And while it might seem easier, there are so many things guys do wrong that automatically make you come off as creepy and desperate. And that's exactly what I'm gonna help you avoid today. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is put your best foot forward. This is just like when you're meeting somebody face to face in person. You want that amazing first impression that's gonna leave her wanting more. It's the same thing, but on social media. You need to understand that that girl you're interested in is most likely gonna swift through your whole Instagram or your Facebook to see what you're all about. So try to actually post substance, things that make you look more interesting, more sophisticated, pictures with your friends, pictures you doing your hobbies and interests you like, pictures of you traveling, just post actual value and avoid it being 80% of just your face, complete selfies, and then another 20% of you just completely shirtless. Let me tell you guys, that's an automatic turnoff unless you look like this guy. Number two, do not be a stalker. This is where you don't wanna fall into. So you don't wanna go in and like 30 of her pictures and comment on 20 of them. That's asking for an immediate block request. It instantly makes you look thirsty and desperate. So let me give you a real life example. Instagram is a popular one to easily come across off as creepy. So for example, if you genuinely find a girl that you're interested in, go through her feed and at most like like three pictures, but try to get to know her, see what her interests are. See if you can find anything in common. If you do, you have a bullseye. Also, a little side note, you might wanna avoid liking her bikini pictures or her half naked pictures because you'll automatically be categorized as one of those guys. I know, right? Like, why do you even post it then? So once you liked at most three pictures, you probably already have her attention. You're gonna slide into those DMs, but don't go with the cliche, man, you're so hot, here's my number, or anything stupid like that. Instead, comment on one of her interests, her hobbies, or that one thing you guys found in common. This is gonna spark a genuine conversation. You want insightfulness, not desperation. So are you enjoying this content? If you are, we wanna take a second to thank our sponsor for today's show. That is The Fifth. Today is Friday's video. If you've never heard of The Fifth, so The Fifth specializes in aesthetic accessories for both men and women, and they only sell on the fifth of the month, which is the tricky part. They usually end up selling out two to three days later. So if you're not signed up to their mailing list, you usually end up missing the drop because they're sold out by then. So every fifth of the month, they open their store and they sell minimal watches which are beautiful they also sell some really nice backpacks that i personally love i use them all the time to go to school and they also sell italian made sunglasses that have a really cool retro inspired look to them all of their accessories i definitely recommend i personally use and i can tell you guys these are quality accessories that instantly make you look more stylish more attractive even better they won't cost you an arm and a leg. That's the great thing with the fit. They always put in a lot of quality and a lot of attention to detail to their products, but they won't charge you a crazy amount. I'm gonna have these guys linked down below with a special discount code that they provide just you guys because you're a viewer. If you guys are interested, definitely check them out. I'm gonna have them linked below. Number three is to understand that nobody cares about your problems. That might sound harsh, but so people usually go to social media to get away from their problems. So nobody wants to hear you vent or rant about the fights you had with your boss or about your crazy ex-girlfriend or even how sad you're feeling. So on social media, you wanna keep things light and fun. Don't take it too seriously. Cause trust me, that girl you're interested in, as soon as she lands on your page, she will instantly be turned off by your emotional rants. Unless she's sort of into that creepy thing, then congratulations, you found yourself a soulmate. Number four, patience is key, my friend. So first of all, don't freak out if she doesn't immediately respond to your DM or one of your comments. You don't wanna follow up with her as if this was a business email an hour later, like, hey, just checking if you saw my last message. And second, once she does reply, you don't want to pounce on that and immediately reply a half a second later. Talk about looking desperate. Play it cool. If she responded, that means she's interested. 
so you have the upper hand. And finally, number five is to not forget your end goal. Yes, flirting on social media can be fun and the whole cyber stalking can maybe make you forget about reality, but remember, your end goal is to actually get on a date with her. So after you get that conversation going, you guys are actually getting to know each other, ask her out on a date or even try to get her phone number or maybe add her on Snapchat. The point is you wanna get more personal with her to make that next move and hopefully make her your girlfriend if you end up liking each other. All right, boys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. That's basically five rules you wanna follow to get flirting right on social media. If you guys like this video, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Fifth. I'm gonna have those guys linked down below with the discount code just for you guys. That's it for me today. See you next time.